Oh my god, it's been over a year. Over a year since I've done a Pro Wang episode. I feel my honor fading. Fading. And it's gone. To be honest, it was gone when I said that Lo Wang's voice actor John Galt was dead in the very first episode. He's not, and I don't even remember where I read that, so... I did Pro Wang 3 way back when because I wanted to move on to Blood. Everybody wanted to see Blood, and I left it unfinished, and for that I'm sorry. But let's be real here, we're not dealing with official releases this time. Okay, so we're covering two expansions for Shadow Warrior. The first, Twin Dragon, was made by Wild Productions and Level Infinity, and was actually a free release in 1998. The second, Wanton Destruction, was created by our old friends at Sunstorm Interactive, but never released, until Anthony Campini, the former president of Sunstorm, found a copy of it lying around, and four days later it was up for download. These these two expansions were included with the release of Shadow Warrior Classic Redux because Devolver is cool like that. Let's get our honor back, starting with Twin Dragon. The title actually relates to the story because there's a story. Lo Wang had a twin brother named Hung Lo. Separated at birth, Hung Lo became evil, or I guess more evil than Lo Wang, and Hung Lo summoned evil minions to do his bidding and take over the world or something, so we gotta go deal with him. You start off at Lo Wang's house, which is pretty awesome. No, not this area here, this is a village or something. Don't forget, it's not too gritty or blood, so we're gonna be playing on the hardest skill. No pain, no gain. Lo Wang keeps a spare house key under the foundation, which is of course infested with bees. I'd use the spray, but I guess we can punch him. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, I missed it, kids. Lo Wang is a sweet house. Too bad I'm completely destroying it. Warning. I used to play Shadow Warrior with the crosshair on until Civvy's knowledgeable sources told me that it's off-center and doesn't actually point to where the shots go. Oh yeah, awesome! That's not a Redux thing either, that's in the source code. You get a nice car that you can drive. In the garage. It's got missile launchers on it, you can't even take it out. You blow a hole in your own wall and take somebody else's car to... City of Despair. That's an accurate title, you know why? See my stick ship? <laughs> in the <box> of <laughs> Remember the mines? They're back. See, what I didn't know when I was doing the old Pro Wangs is that in software mode, you can see those fine. But in Redux's OpenGL mode, they don't show up properly, so instead of being on the ground, they're under the ground, because of the way it renders voxels. It's okay, I'll fix it. Gotta get yourself some of this here that's old voxel editor, and you just adjust the pivots, and you raise that like 64 pixels, re-import into the game's group file, and BAM! It'll show up wrong in software mode, but fuck it. How's that for kung fu fighting, you chicken shit? These mines are all over the city of despair, everywhere, beeping away. That's your biggest problem besides these shadow ninjas. It's fine, it's shadow warrior, and like a true ninja, we main explosive weapons. Fucking shadow ninjas. I don't know if this is harder than vanilla shadow warrior. After blood, I'm kind of numb to the difficulty of other build games. <laughs> This is mostly a good level, a lot of stuff blowing up, jumping from building to building. The mines can still fuck off, they're everywhere, even on a lower skill. I don't know how I survived this Shadow Ninja. Did I slice his one-hit kill projectile in the Blind Ninja Rage? The world may never know. How else do you end a level, but... All systems ready. <laughs> Emergency room. Sure, I haven't blown up a hospital yet. It's no the sick ward, but I'll take it. Nothing special. I wish people knew how to align keyboard textures. That really, really messes with me. These are community-made maps, you can tell, because they stamp their logo in places. What's that? Wow. Planet Quake? That is a real blast from the past. Who remembers GameSpy? And so you think that these maps would be more difficult than the main game, and in some places they are. Like, they save the big stuff for the end of maps. Three sumos up there. Whatever will I do? Hide and seek. This looks cool, like an office building or something, but...
Oh, you think you're being sneaky turning this into a sewer level. And this one's pretty painful. The baby rippers aren't usually a problem because they're weak. You know, unless there's endless hordes of them in shit-filled hallways. This level sucks. It changes the light to get that green shitty water and it messes up my nice blue railgun. So no, get away, get out of here, sewer level. Let's end it right, though. Warehouse Madness. The only madness here is the level designer exploiting the ninja's ability to duck behind cover, and that, oh, that can fuck right off. Revenge is this best Man, I really like the grenade launcher in this game. not a whole lot to say about most of these levels. They're not bad, they're just more of the same. Shooting monsters, some real-world interactive touches, another level in a train station, breaking into a bank vault to get a key. It's all fine, especially for a free user-made map pack from 1998. I can see why they included it in this release until you get to the fishing village. I've noticed a tendency to put way too many of these killer koi in the underwater areas in Twin Dragon, like- No, stop! Is that fish dodging my missiles? Hell yeah, take a boat, struggle with the weird keyboard aim that's forced out of the vehicles in this game. It's easier to just get out and deal with them. You got traps going off everywhere still. I like this level. Even if it uses switch textures as stove burners, and that's not cool. One of the things that happens with monsters in Shadow Warrior, especially the coolies and the rippers, is that they get faster when their health gets lower. I got me a rare sighting of a light speed ripper. Oh god, these arrows. Kawabunga. This is not us away. Soon enough, you're climbing through the treetops. Oh, no, you don't. Everybody did. I like that. Oh. oh, secret garden. How nice. How peaceful. Look at those bunnies. They're fucking in front of an atomic blast and they're fine. Fuck yes, awesome. Now we're getting hard. A snake mini boss, two sumos, we're knocking right on Hung Lo's door. He has his own palace. I guess being a corporate shogun doesn't pay as well as whatever Hung Lo does. This here's actually the penultimate level of Twin Dragon, so we're pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Not cool. Ah, 
You get locked in an office with a sumo when you can't use explosives. The Guardian head works just fine. What in pieces of cow? Close quarters force you to use your explosives a lot less. You got Big Mama Rippers spawning underground when you get the exit key, two sumos at the end, and I don't even have any nukes left. That's terrible. If you don't want to bother, you can skip like half this level by going to the secret exit. Ancient Chinese secret. It. Which takes you to a prison camp, a fun little romp that- Wait, why the fuck does Hung Lo have a prison camp? You know, for someone with such a funny name, he seems like kind of a dick. Alright, yeah, I deserve that. Huh, a secret nuke. I did pick one up, and it would be a shame to waste it. Finally, Hung Lo's palace, where he spends his time, you know, hanging around admiring priceless artifacts, inconveniently placing shadow ninjas that kill me, and I realize I haven't saved since midway through the last level, and I gotta do all that shit again. Shit! All systems ready. Motherfucker! Don't fire nukes in the house. You have to go through Hung Lo's little living area here and find four switches to open. Damn, man, just because I got the looks and you got the gigantism. I think he may have anticipated this move. Guess what, bitch? I brought a twin brother, too. Two wings are better than one. He dies, and the cutscene shows. All systems ready. You are weak as a baby fart. Ah, Sunstorm, masters of the build engine expansion packs, responsible for Duke It Out in DC, Duke Caribbean, Cryptic Passage, and this, the shelved wanton destruction. Lo Wang heads to the U.S. to visit relatives until... Lady, somebody beat you with the ugly stick. Surprise! It's you-know-who. Yeah, you remember her from that one level of Shadow Warrior? I guess she's a main antagonist now. Lady, somebody beat you with the ugly stick. Give me a little kiss, Lo Wang. <laughs> I don't know if these sprites are high enough resolution to tell if this woman's as ugly as Lo Wang claims, but when every other girl in the game literally shoots you down, man, and also Zilla's trying to kill you again, although his ninjas are slightly different. <laughs> uh, and Destruction isn't bad, but the new ninja voices are. Down here. Down here. Some of the enemies have been reskinned. The ninjas look like this, and the guardians look like this. They function identically. And this one starts with an assault of too many fucking bees, too. And a section in a sewer. I think this one's a bit tougher than Twin Dragon. And a bit tougher than Vanilla Shadow Warrior, too. Like, that makes a difference. We're gonna start things off right. I like nuclear weapons. Two nukes in the first map. It's a good way to kick things off. The sewer leads to a monastery for some reason. Whatever, that's cool. It flows. This is San Francisco Chinatown, so this totally makes sense. We're using big trouble in little China logic. The sky here, this is what it looks like under San Francisco. Just go with it. I like the levels in Wanton Destruction more than Twin Dragon, especially this one. It's got a good feel to it, some interesting traps. Yeah. 
I don't know what just happened, but that was cool as hell. The secrets are more interesting, too. The secret exit's only in the second map. You gotta jump in here, then take a fall here, then another one, and you're in the Redwood Forest, a thing that exists just outside of San Francisco. That's a nice touch. The level itself is a killer. Bees in caves, a million rippers, up in the treetops on impossible bridges. There's a trap that's pretty mean when you go for the red key. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty dickish, but most of the time the explosion from the trap itself blows up the coolies. See, wanton destruction is a little bit rough, a little bit unfinished. It's more noticeable in the later maps. Once you get to the swamp area... Oh, hold on. Warning. Look at this cool inventive build engine stuff. I guess we're back to San Francisco now, because we're in a trolley yard, and oh boy, this one starts rough. It doesn't get easier. I am the Shadow Warrior. Fighting you chicken shit. Hey look, it's Trolley 69. Trolley 69, I get it. Oh, two sumos again? Entering restaurant. Restaurant. That's not how that's spelled. Please go into the comments and tell me that that incorrect spelling is correct. A lot of the maps in Wanton Destruction lack that kind of punny nature that you'd get in the names of maps in these games. It's just like Chinatown, Monastery, Trolley Yard, Restaurant, Skyscraper, Airplane. Come on, I get it. It's unfinished even though it's completely playable. Anyway, this one's a nightmare too. Look at this bullshit. He wasn't hiding in there. The game teleports him in. God help me if I heard his idle sounds and expected him to be there. This map will break you. It repopulates this central area twice before it's over, while you're crawling through vents or sending grenades downstairs, and it's too cramped to nuke anything, not that I have one to spare after the last map. It's cool looking, it's very build engine. They know how bad the level's gonna hurt you and they leave plenty of health around. My fondness for the grenade launcher that has a deceptively huge area of splash damage doesn't help. Skyscraper. Who likes platforming and Sivvy for getting secret level exits because he's not as familiar with wanton destruction? Hell yeah, let's go! Look at this, this is adorable, apartment 666. It's just like the apartment I started in, except spooky. Three, two, one. All systems ready. Warning. I don't know, this room with the broken crane is cool. I'm getting a little tired of tight spaces of shadow ninjas, or grenade ninjas, or guardians, or sorry, Chinese mystics with guardian heads on sticks. And I'm here wondering, hey, why is Lo Wang taking it off the stick and putting his fingers in it? That's gross. I forgot about the secret level and had to go back to play it later, and when I got there I realized why I'd forgotten it. The docks is probably the first sign that this whole thing wasn't finished. You could have removed it and nothing would be lost. The level plays like a series of bullet points and sometimes it doesn't really make sense like aside from the bare bones areas and the enemy placement. You spend this whole level looking for a repair kit to get this boat working so you can sail it over here to reach the silver key which opens the silver key door that you need the boat to reach. So this whole thing here, getting the silver key doesn't matter. It's not like you can rocket jump in this game, you're not getting up there without the boat. I know I may sound harsh, but it's only because I know that Sunstorm could do better. If you were tired of cramped spaces full of ninjas, here's Airplane. This is impressive from a technical standpoint. I mean, it looks really cool. It is kind of unpleasant to play. Hit scanning ninjas are manageable until you cover all the entries with curtains because lol it's a realistic airplane and then you're sitting here getting Swiss cheese and somebody thought it'd be a good idea to put the blue key in the toilet but you have to flush the toilet which there's no switch to clue you in that you could do that you just have to press use on the toilet. Good on Sunstorm for making this cool airplane level it hurts to play. I am on the hardest skill you can tell because there's two gremlins on the wing. You go outside the plane for the last key and it's exactly as hard to get as it would be if you were actually doing that. But then the level gets cool again because you crash the plane. Hey, who flying this thing anyway? I 
I hate this because it's making me choose between awesome build engine environmental stuff that rivals what the original developers made, but also suffering. The plane crashes into a military base, which is fine. It feels kind of bland most of the time, like it could have been a Duke 3D level they retextured and used for Shadow Warrior. It's not bad. It looks cool. It plays okay. I'm surprised at the level of detail in what could have been a more straightforward level, but eh. The military base leads to train. Train. Okay, train. Our second train station level of the night. Some of it's cool. And then there's this area at the beginning with these neon signs plastered on the walls and the floor, and it's like maybe they could have worked on this part a little more. But then there's this whole elaborate interior with a fish tank and stuff, and there's enough room to use explosives, and the need to use them because of how often they put elite ninjas up on ledges to shoot at you. Oh, here's Sailor Moon again. You're good looking sailor, babe. Uh... Maybe later, Mr. Wang. Still weird. It is just one curveball after another until you finally get to another train, which is cool but cramped, which leads us to the auto factory. Are you seeing the problem here yet? Of course not, because it's so fucking dark! I haven't nuked anything in, like, five levels. I miss when I could turn the power on in certain levels, because this auto plant murders me, especially here. <laughs> Seems like there's always one more ninja hiding in the darkness, so let's make him glow. Why? Why is he still alive? The snakes don't one-hit kill, so it doesn't really matter if you throw two of them at me. Hit points don't equal difficulty. Of course that was hard, Sivvy. It's the penultimate level. It's supposed to be hard. Yeah, I know, but the last level's supposed to be hard, too, and it's not. This is Skyline, not to be confused with Skyscraper because we're back in China now and it's not exactly the same level. Lu Wang do Super Kung Fu Jump! You have to fight a sumo and a snake mini-boss, again. Not like in the original Shadow Warrior where you had to fight the boss versions again. It's pretty easy. If you have the foresight to send grenades into unexplored rooms, which there's one where that doesn't work and it's the one right before you get to Zilla, there's crates in front of the window. Who the fuck does that? You need to get the keys from both of these areas and kill his shadow ninjas, not the worst choice to protect your entrance, and then get past Zilla's most elite guard, his secretary. You can't evade me forever. Wow, Lo Wang didn't hit on her, that's progress. You keep a good long hand? How about short hand? Not have much time. Ah, uh, you blew it. Zilla doesn't see anyone. Yeah. I like six retaries. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You belong in a circular file. <laughs> Lo Wang love you long time. Okay, that's pretty bad. Hitler doesn't see anyone. Oh, really? I guess I'll just go then. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This level's broken, and unless you play on the harder two skills, Zilla doesn't appear. He dies this time. I think. The ending cutscene says so, and also that Lo Wang goes back to San Francisco, but he's being followed by... I don't think this old woman has a name, but I guess she was the real threat this whole time. Why does thinking about sex make me want to crap? I don't know how to end this. I still can't play Deadly Kiss, and oh, maybe I'll do the Shadow Warrior reboots, but... Fuck it, Baby Wang. That'll get some eyeballs. Want to some wang? Ah, yes. I see you ready for action. I like that. Learn well, my son. It is natural to die. Mass destruction is my thing. Bonsai! Hey, you. Yes, you. I am the Shadow Warrior. Let's fight. What are you waiting for? Eh? I'm talking to you. I am everybody's worst nightmare. Now, let's fight. Pathetic. You're not too smart. You're too stupid to duck! 